right, so here are my five suggestions of things to do before baby comes. Get your food right, and that means for everybody in the house. If you have pets, if you have your in-laws, if you have other children, your husband, get all that right. Get baby stuff right. So you that like includes pump and bottles, cleaning supplies for that. Have that all situated before baby comes. And I would, I recommend pretty much doing everything a couple weeks before baby comes. Um, maybe a month before, just because if the baby comes early. Getting baby's sleeping situation right, and you wanna prevent SIDS, you wanna make sure that they have their own sleeping space. Avoid any kind of um, issues with them co-sleeping with you. You do not want to have them co-sleeping in the same bed as you, absolutely not. Visitor policy, get that situated before baby comes. Well, let them follow the bees. And I was like, what's that? And she was like, let them bring something. So they should be bringing something like that include food. That's the most important thing. Like, yeah, they could bring baby clothes, but like you probably have baby clothes. You want food, you want fresh food, you want cooked food. You don't want takeout, you want food food. So let them, if they say, what should I bring? Food. So along with bringing food, they should be busy. Give them a little activity. Is there anything I should do? Yeah, fold this laundry. Is there anything I should do? Yeah, vacuum this floor. Let them be busy. Take them up on that offer. I did not do this. I was silly, silly, silly me. Let the visit be brief. Let them know like, all right, baby goes on for a nap this time. I go down for a nap this time. I gotta take a shower this time. Let them be brief. And you're not busy entertaining people they should be self-sufficient that means they're occupying themselves you are not entertaining anybody they are doing their own thing like like you got things to do you you don't have time to like hey do you want some tea how many how many sugars do you take like nah you don't got time for that you pretty much are showing them baby and then you are going about your day like your regular day because you don't have especially in the first three months, you don't have any time to entertain anybody unless you have like someone at, um, at your house like helping you do all the other things. You really can't be entertaining anyone. So we had a party, um, you know, it was like well-planned. My husband was there. And even though people were over, I went about my business, baby took his naps, fed the baby, did everything that I would have probably normally did. And everybody understands that. You have a baby. Lots of people have babies. They all figure it out. Like babies, babies in the room. Baby needs to be fed. Baby needs to go to sleep. If people come over and baby's sleeping, baby's sleeping. Don't wake up baby. <laughs> Don't put baby in like um, a situation where baby's gonna be cranky, right? Baby needs to sleep. Baby needs to eat. Baby needs to be changed. Do everything that you would normally do. So figure out your visitor policy. Super important. And. Um, have two weeks of baby clothes, and that includes all their baby gear. So if it's cold, you want, might wanna have hats, mittens, gloves, bibs, socks, hats, blankets, um, their bathing stuff, so their towels, their tub, you just have all that baby stuff. Um, something that I've talked about before, make sure you have a baby nail clip and baby medicine. So important. Um, if you have a 24 hour like CVS, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, whatever, those are great. But when your baby is sick or screaming or not feeling well, uh, it's really hard to get out the house. So just try to have those kind of things. I'm going to wish you the best of luck. Ooh.